everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly maintain your filter. We recommend cleaning and re-oiling every 20 to 30,000 miles or more often if you've been through extremely dirty or dusty conditions. How you maintain your filter depends on if it is oiled or dry. Our Pro 5R and Pro 10R filters are cleaned the same way as our other oiled filter, the ProGuard 7. The only difference is the blue oil versus the gold oil. If you have our dry filter, the Pro Dry S, it does not require oil. So you're just going to clean it with our spray and skip the step of re-oiling and it's gonna be done. It's important to know whether you have an oiled filter or a dry filter because that's going to determine what cleaning kit you get and how you maintain it. So this is a ProGuard 7 when it's faded. You can tell that it is still gold. This is where it gets tricky. This is the Pro 5R filter that used to be blue. And this is the Pro Dry S filter. You can see they look almost identical. It's really important to confirm what filter you have so you don't oil the Pro Dry S filter or not oil the Pro 5R filter. Get the part number, search it in our website and confirm what filter you have. We got one of our engineers, Nate's filter from his Silverado Magnum Force intake kit. He has not cleaned this in a long time. And believe it or not, this is a Pro 5R filter, meaning this used to be blue. Now that we know it's a Pro 5R filter, we know what cleaner to use. So we're going to pick out our special cleaner just for oiled filters. We're going to start by tapping this filter and trying to get all the excess dust off. You can also, if you really want to get that dirt out, you could use an old toothbrush and kind of scrape it. I tried my best, so now we are just going to take our power cleaner and saturate the filter. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time on the really dirty parts and get in between the pleats. Okay, now we are going to wait about 10 minutes for it to work its magic. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. It looks like the cleaner has worked its magic. It's a lot of gross gunk right here. We are going to rinse it off. I'm using a sink today, but you can use a garden hose. Just make sure it's low pressure because anything that's high pressure is gonna damage the filter media. We are going to run the water from the clean side to the dirty side so that all the dirty water comes out. And we're going to keep running the water until the water runs clear. Okay, so our Pro 5R filter is clean. We need to let it dry now. You can leave it outside, it's gonna dry fairly fast. Uh, you could also use a fan, just make sure not to use a hairdryer, compressed air, or open flame. Generally, it takes about two to four hours to dry fully, and this is why a lot of people actually like to have a second filter to swap out into their vehicle while they do the maintenance. Our filter is dry now, so now we're getting to the fun part, which is re-oiling. Since this is a Pro 5R filter, we are going to be using the blue oil. On a flat panel filter like this, you just wanna make sure that if you were to put the filter inside the air box, whatever side is on the outside, that's the side you're gonna oil. We're gonna start about half an inch away from the polyurethane, which is about a finger's worth, and trace the top of the pleat. Within 20 minutes, the oil should seep throughout the filter, but it's actually best to wait overnight so the oil can completely saturate the gauze. This is another reason why people like to have an extra filter to swap when they do their maintenance. After that, you can touch up any spots that are still white. We also have an aerosol spray, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that as well. Go about six to eight inches away and... It should saturate on its own. Again, wait 20 minutes or overnight. Anything that got on the polyurethane, just wipe off. By the time you're done with it, the oil should completely saturate the gauze and it'll look something like this. If you confirm that you have a Pro Dry S filter by checking on the top where it sometimes is or at the little part number button, you can go ahead and use the correct cleaner, which is this one. So we're just going to saturate it. After you have sprayed your Pro Dry S filter, you're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes for the cleaner to work its magic. It's been about 10 minutes that we've let the cleaner soak into the Pro Dry S filter. This one's a little less dirty, 
but we are going to still rinse it out from the clean side to the dirty side. In the sink, you can use a hose. Again, this is a Pro Dry S filter, so you're not gonna do the step of re-oiling. It's designed to run without oil. So whether you have a Pro Dry S filter that's completely dry, ready to go, or you have the oiled filter that's completely oiled, seeped in, and ready to go, then you're ready to put it back into your stock airbox or AFE intake. Thanks for watching. If you want, you can download the filter maintenance PDF down there in the comments. You can also go to our website and find the right filter maintenance kit for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you.